power system operation and control in that in computer control of power system today we are going to discuss about various operating states and control strategies using a state transition diagram so this is a state transition diagram which shows various state transitions the state transition diagram illustrates the various operating states the power system can experience and the possible transition between them due to changes in system conditions such as fault overload or any emergency conditions and then the restoration process the various operating states are first one normal state alert state then emergency state extremist state then finally restorative state now we'll discuss about the states one by one first one normal state in normal state the system is fully secure and operating within all limits for example voltage frequency power flow line loading etc and in this state the total demand on the system is met by satisfying all operating constraints that is equality and inequality constraints the equality constraint is a total power generation equal to the total power demand plus losses pg is equal to pd plus pl and inequality constraints are uh, generator capacity constraint voltage constraints running space capacity constraint then transformer tap settings uh, and the transmission line constraint network security constraint these are the inequality constraints and adequate reserves are available in this normal state for the contingencies this contingency is a unexpected event or a failure that affects the normal operation of the system common type of contingencies are uh, generator outage uh, for example a power plant is suddenly goes offline and uh, in case of transmission line outage the power line is uh, disconnected due to fault or maintenance transformer failure occurs or a sudden increase and decrease in load and these are the contingencies now we we'll see the control strategies in the normal state first one is economic dispatch then automatic generation control voltage and frequency regulation optimal power flow reserve management and balancing so these are the control strategies carried out in normal state now we'll move on to the next state alert state this alert state is also a normal state but it is vulnerable the system enters into this alert state if there is a constraint limit violation in one or more postulated contingency states this postulated contingency state is a hypothetical or assumed failure scenarios used in system planning and reliability analysis these are conditions under which part of the power system is assumed to fail or be removed from the service and the system ability to withstand these events without violating operational limits is evaluated when the system security level falls below a certain level or the probability of disturbance increases then the system enters into the alert state so here no actual fault occurred yet but the system is vulnerable the operating limits are near to the threshold values so the system security is at risk now we'll see the control strategies in alert state preventive control for example generation redispatch or capacitor switching in order to improve the reactive power then load forecasting and demand response increased monitoring and real time contingency analysis reconfiguration of network topology redispatch of increase margin now we'll move on to the next state emergency state the system enters into the emergency state if one or more operating constraints are violated but the load constraint remain satisfied the operating constraints are voltage constraint thermal limits frequency limits generator operating limits stability constraint reserve requirements and the load constraints are load demand balance load shedding constraints demand response participation load forecast accuracy geographical load constraints so these constraints are considered here in that operating constraints are violated but the load constraint remains satisfied in this state the equality constraints also remain unchanged the equality constraint is the generation equal to demand plus losses actually here the disturbance occurred for example line outage 
or generate a voltage or overload the system will return to the normal or alert state by means of corrective actions like uh, disconnection of fault section or load shedding now we'll see the control strategies in emergency state the first one is emergency load shedding then fast voltage control using fax devices like uh, static wire compensators statcom switched capacitors etc then generation tripping or rapid ramping next one is islanding operation that is separating the system into smaller or manageable sections then special protection schemes or uh, remedial action schemes are employed in this emergency state next one is extremist state so when the system is in emergency state if no proper corrective action is taken in time then the system goes to either uh, the serious emergency state or we call it as a extremist state in this state neither the load nor the operating constraint is satisfied and this results in islanding also the generating units are strained beyond their capacity emergency control action is done to bring back the system to the normal state through the restorative state in this state a severe disturbance causes widespread loss of load and generation so the complete system collapse or partial blackout occurs and this state is also called blackout or a collapse state now we'll see the control strategies protection system coordination to isolate fault use of under frequency and under voltage load shedding controlled islanding to prevent total collapse ensuring black start capabilities that is generators that can start without external power this black start is the process of uh, restoring a power system to operational condition after a total or partial blackout without relying on the external transmission network blackout caused due to natural disaster equipment failure cascading trips cyber attacks or grid instability can lead to the complete loss of power and this black start is needed because most power plant require external power from the grid to start after a total blackout this external supply isn't available so special units with black start capability must be used small self starting generators for example diesel generators or hydro units that do not need grid power to operate so we can use this type of generators to start the generation and gradually energize the nearby transmission line and substation and using this power from the black start unit to bring larger thermal and gas power plants online and the fifth one is restorative state so in this restorative state the control action is being taken to reconnect all the facilities and to restore the system load gradual reenergization and synchronization of power islands load and generations are restored in stages the system may be brought back to either alert state or normal state if the system directly goes to normal state that process is a slow process hence in certain cases the first the system is brought back to the alert state and then to the normal state so this is done by using the restorative control actions now we'll see the control strategies in restorative state first one is black start procedures to energize generators and key substations gradual synchronization of uh, system area and voltage regulation controlled load pickup that is uh, restoring load in phases monitoring system stability as generation and load are balanced re establishing interconnections and returning to normal operation so these are the control strategies in restorative states so summarizing the various operating states of power system and the control strategies so there are five operating states normal alert emergency extremist restorative in normal the system condition is secure and stable the key control strategies are economic dispatch automatic generation control optimal power flow and voltage and frequency control in alert state the system is marginally secure and the key control strategies are preventive control and contingency analysis in emergency state the system condition limits violated and the key control strategies are load shedding generation control special protection scheme or remedial action scheme in extremist state 
major collapse occurred protection isolation and black star in restorative recovery in progress black star phase loop pick up and resynchronization so these are the key control strategies these are the various operating states of power system and their control strategies